I want to uh, thank you today uh, for being here on truly this very historic day. In a few minutes, I will sign into law legislation that extends cost-effective health care to hundreds of thousands of Arizona's working poor, our friends, and our neighbors in need. This legislation will protect Arizona's hospitals. It will create thousands of jobs, and it will save lives. First, I want to recognize the lawmakers who made this moment possible. They displayed something we don't see a lot of in politics today, and that is courage. Standing with me is a coalition of legislators from both chambers of both political parties. You've accomplished in Arizona what the political commentators and experts just months ago said. It was impossible. You stood firm with me on behalf of the state you serve. You put people before politics and you stayed strong in the face of personal attacks. For that, the people of Arizona are grateful and you have my utmost gratitude and respect. When I announced my Medicaid restoration plan in January, I knew the road ahead would be rough. I knew I had not chosen the easy path. But I learned a long time ago that what is easy and what is right are rarely the same. Well, today, I know in my heart that we have made the right choice. I know because of the outpouring of support we have received these past five months, most especially in the days since the legislature cast its critical votes for this measure. More than 400 community groups from every corner of this state have joined our efforts. We've heard from doctors and nurses who daily see the human impacts when Arizonans without insurance are forced to use the emergency room for primary care. We've heard hospital executives describe how spiraling costs of uncompensated care are pushing their institutions to the brink. And we've heard from business leaders like those with me today describe how all of these costs are being pushed onto employers and Arizona families in the form of a hidden health care tax. Most of all, we've heard from regular Arizonans. You know their stories. The single mother who credits access with saving her life from breast cancer, the hemophiliac who depends upon access for his life-saving medication. Here's a story you may not have heard. In March, in the House Appropriations Committee, they held an informational hearing on this issue, and a young woman stepped to the lectern. She was a senior at ASU, and she said that she had been diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder. Without the proper treatment she received because of access, she would go blind. She told the legislative panel, and I quote, access has been my lifeline, and it is the reason I can see all of you now, end of quote. Thanks to the legislation I'm about to sign into law, she won't lose her health coverage at the end of the year, and neither will 63,000 other Arizonans whose access membership would have expired without legislative action. For these Arizonans and so many others, I am now proud to sign this measure into law.